Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google I.O. was today, and Google released a new build to the Android N developer preview, so they're on number three right now. So grab one of your Nexus devices, maybe your Nexus 6P or Nexus 5X, and go ahead and install it on one of your devices. Now what I'm going to do is talk about what is new with this build. I have videos talking about what's been new with the first build, the second build, and this is just the changes that are uh, into the third build. I also want to make note that Google has said this is more of a beta, so more of a stable build to install on your device. So I'm going to do a video soon, an updated video talking about using Android N as my daily driver. So click that sub subscribe button if you're interested in that. And also with the name of Android N, they've kind of opened up just a survey. I'll link to it in the description where you can just put in what you would like to see Android N be called, whatever you want, Nutella, Nilla wafers, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Let me know in the in the comments what you guys are actually going to input into that survey, what you think Android N should be called. But anyways, let's see what's new in the Android N Developer Preview 3. All right, got my Nexus 6P and 5X going to show it off on my 5X for now. The Easter egg did not change, so I'm not going to show it off. But here is the third preview of the Android N build. First of all, I want to show off... The pull down bar, you have some options right here. There's a calculator shortcut. One that I really like, there's a night mode shortcut, which makes it easier in your eyes. Maybe at night when you're looking at your phone in bed, just makes the whites much easier on your eyes. In terms of notifications, you can press and hold on them. And on a per app basis, you can block all notifications, show notifications silently, and don't silence or block as well. Now you can quick reply to certain ones, and you'll see it doesn't get rid of the message. And you can type something really quick there and hit send and then it'll go away and doesn't even need to open up the application. Speaking of notifications, the system UI tuner is still available. Uh, check out other videos if you'd like to check that out. And there's an option right here for power notification controls. Looks like they're trying something else out where there's various levels of these power notification controls for each app. So let's say you don't want it from one app, you can do a level zero. If you want prevent full screen interruption, always peak. There's other various levels of notification power, uh, controls. Also in terms of that system UI tuner, it looks like they got rid of the night mode. So there just does not seem to be an option to enable it. So the settings are going to be white on the third developer preview. Now let's go ahead and check out the keyboard because it's a little bit different on Android N. First of all, I wanna go ahead and show off some emoji because there are definitely a lot of new ones. You'll see a clown there. You'll see a little green guy down in the bottom left. Now let me go ahead and get over to some of the people and let's go ahead and customize how Santa is going to look. So you'll see there's Santa. You can press and hold on them, and you have different colored emojis. So that is now an option on Android N, which I know a lot of people have wanted. You just press and hold on it, and you can change the color of the emoji. There's also a one-handed mode and other things. I have a full review on this keyboard, and you can install it on your device as well. I'll link to that video in the description. Now, in terms of that keyboard, there's more customization options. So I'm going to go into Settings, Find Language and Input, and then I'm going to go to physical keyboard, or not physical keyboard, sorry, virtual keyboard. And we're going to go to Google keyboard and theme. So check this out. There's a bunch of different themes. You can add a keyboard or if you'd like, you can change colors. If you want red, you can have the material dark. You got green and also you can customize your own image. So let's go to the camera. I'm going to select the photo and you can scale it. You can have a black overlay, how much you want it to overlay. Or if you just want it almost completely transparent, hit done. And there you go. So that's just a new nice feature to the Google keyboard. Now the recent apps got an update in terms of it's going to get rid of certain apps that you do not use. So it's not going to be this long scrollable list anymore. It's going to start clearing them out as you don't use certain apps. Now you'll see up at the top here when you get to the top there's a clear all button which I know a lot of people like. I might have preferred a clear all button to be not towards the top but now that they're getting rid of some apps it's going, probably going to be a lot better in terms of that. Now, let's say I wanna to go to the settings app and then let's go ahead and swap to the calculator app. Now I press the recent apps once and I press it again and it's gonna switch back to that previous app. It doesn't really matter how quickly you tap the recent apps, you're always going to switch back to that previous app if you press it twice. And of course, there is still that split screen. I have a full review on it if you're interested. Uh, you press and hold the recent apps, it's gonna load up um, your split screen. You can go ahead and do some calculations while you're watching the previous Android N video if you'd like. One more thing I wanted to point out is under display, just because I haven't talked about it before, there is a display size where you can just kind of overall change the size of specific items on your display. You have small, default, large, larger, largest. 
Just a few more things I could talk about that I can't really show you at the moment. One of them being there's really no more Android is upgrading pop-up, which is a huge relief because that is a very annoying pop-up. Nobody likes to see that, especially when you have 100 plus apps on your device. There's instant apps as well where you can run apps without installing them. I can't show you that yet, but very, very cool coming soon. There's a VR mode that's gonna come. It's called Daydream as well. And then there's also seamless updates. So what's gonna happen is that like Chrome OS or Windows, it's going to start installing the update in the background and all you have to do is restart your device to install the, and to install and complete the update. So that would be the third preview of the Android N build. Lots more to come. Click that subscri subscribe button. Why am I struggling with that word today? If you're interested, I'd appreciate it. Click that thumbs up as well. That means a lot. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh, 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 oh,